Hi, this is Sambo. Welcome back to this DC Universe Online Let's Play. If you've been following my other videos, you'll know that we were uh, playing on a character called Batty, which we created just to get through the opening tutorial um, levels. And now I'm back on my normal character, who's looking rather slutty at the moment, <coughs> called Blaze Purple. Um, you're more than welcome to join me or message me on the Darkness Falls PVE server, uh, which is where she is. Alright, so um, unlike Batty who came out into the police station in Gotham City, this uh, character of mine, her mentor is Wonder Woman. So we've ended up in the metropolis, um, metrop town of Metropolis and in the Metropolis um, uh, police department and um, the big difference between this character and my other character are her uh, power sets I guess um, this one I much prefer actually to, to what we did there's someone with an ice arrow power set in the background there um, let's get out of the way for a second we uh, this character is a um, for a start she is a flight uh, characters which I must much prefer um, so the uh, batty you'll remember was a acrobat um, in terms of weapons she has a hand blaster so laser beam shooting out of her hands um, now I'm already a few levels in so I've already put a couple of points into uh, that weapon so she's got her basic ability to blast lasers um, which is great for range stuff but she's also got a, I learnt a, a block breaker type thing which gives me 25% health as a bonus but I basically as you can see down here on the combo I just hold the right mouse button and it charges up and basically sort of um, does a strong blast which puts a, a knockdown effect on all the mobs so that's really handy and again that's my weapon in terms of my actual skills and powers. I've gone fire. Oh, there's some cool looking characters there. Uh, I've gone fire, and there's a couple of different trees. There's ignition, which is, um, you know, a ranged, you've got fireball, setting people on fire with dots type um, power set, and immolation, which I've gone for, which has a couple of really cool things. One, this engulfs me in flames, which damages all, puts a dot on all my um, nearby enemies, and also increases all my damage by 35%, like that. And this fantastic one, Flashpoint, which is again a knockback. It just blasts a wave of heat to um, knock them back, and it also applies a dot to, to enemies. So that's all really cool, um, like melee close range stuff, combined with my, my weapons, my hand blasters, um, gives me a really versatile character. Um, like uh, now again we're flight um, not not acrobat so I can either hit F or by the way if you just hold down the space bar to jump it'll put you into flight mode and there we go and F will drop you out um, like everything else you you'll get sent to the vendors you'll get a little quest to take you to the vendors so that you um, understand them and you can um, you know, I'll do some repairing maybe I've got some stuff to sell no because I was here just before um, you'll also, just like the other side in Gotham City, here in Metropolis, you'll get sent through here where you can um, enter the Watchtower. Again, that's a whole episode on its own. Um, and check your emails. Um, and in fact, I checked them just before and I'd got, this is great, I got a good example of doing stuff in the game. I, you'll see out the front in a minute, there's so much content in the game. Once you get out into the city, there's so many different things to do. There's quests, there's challenges, there's dungeons, there's um, dungeon finders, there's PvP, um, there's collecting, there's a whole bunch of things. But one of the things I did was a introductory flight challenge, which if you're familiar with Crackdown, is kind of like the race feature of that. You have to race through rings. I did that. I not only got XP and cash, but I also found um, that Captain Marvel had sent me this mail and he actually gave me um, a reward for doing it uh, which was really nice and what that reward was I can show you was actually a style um, piece it was an emblem this gem so basically um, you can't see the emblem on, on my um, chest here because I don't have a my boobs are exposed you can't see the actual there's no costume there you can't see my, my emblem but if you could um, I now have one that I couldn't find in the character creator so yeah, pretty cool. Everything you do actually has a reason, a reason for it, um, like um, you know achievements, etc., etc. In fact, let's have a quick look at those because um, you couldn't see them um, in my other character. So we go to the achievement screen here, 
and for example here you can see that she's already done a few it's just like wow that's a summary um, the last ones I got were um, okay I've collected 10 styles um, so I've got a well equipped achievement there um, I, I came I got a platinum medal in a race um, I, admittedly it was a very simple race but I got one hey um, and as you can see here um, there's progress feet points 40 out of 100 you actually can get a skill point out of doing achievements so there's actually a purpose to doing these as well as items um, you'll notice also if we go uh, back uh, things like collections so if I hop into the collections here I've already started a few and, and gosh these are fun and, and addictive you'll see that at the end here there's little items so I could actually uh, let's have a look at this one so I've started um, this particular one and at the end of it I will actually get a unique item reward very addictive um, lots of fun scouring the city trying to find things in way out of way places um, investigations are kind of like um, collections as well and you'll find these all over the world and they give you um, little lore snippets again and you can see it's unfinished I've got three out of six there um, some soul fragments that I can find and generally they drop from mobs and again I'll get an actual item reward out of that and there's just tons and tons and tons of those um, the headlines you'll probably remember from last time that was when I finished the last major story arc I escaped from the uh, Brainiac Harvester ship and so what it will do is allow me to I'll show allow me to play that cinematic again if I really enjoyed it so I won't show it to you again because you've already seen it but uh, it's a great way of enjoying all the um, the cinematics in the game um, player briefs episode briefings these are really cool as well I've you see this one is attributed to Vicky Vale they're also collectible items scattered around the world and I mean I get not only some really cool backstory but I also get an item out of that so there's just so much to do there once you get in here um, what I highly recommend I mean you'll be sent then to an NPC which is this guy and he'll give you um, a quest which is this one here and I've I've been already doing it I've, I've started this quest and we'll, we'll get into that later but there's another one which are the exploration missions now I want to show you because some people miss these if you pop around the corner here and it's the same whether you're a hero or a villain or whether you're in Metropolis or Gotham City you come across this um, booth and this is Booster Gold who you'll know from or if you're a DC Universe comics fan Basically, you uh, that that's not activated at the moment because I've already got it uh, activated. It's in my quest log. You'll get these exploration quests, and you'll see that you know. Firstly, it told me to go and locate um, the Chinatown neighborhood. Then it told me to visit a shop, use a kiosk, um, and then it told me to visit the Mannheim Chinese Theater. And now I've got to use the Chinese Theater kiosk. What what they're designed to do is to get you familiar with the layout of the city, um, and you'll find that and, and look I mean I actually get a decent item out of it as well but once you've completed this particular one like which is Metropolis's Chinatown neighborhood you come back to the the kiosk and you'll have another series for you for another area so it's a great way of learning the lay of the land um, and the kiosks that they talk about everywhere um, we'll, we'll get outside and have a look everywhere you go there are kiosks that you can activate which give you um, uh, again lore snippets and background story it's really cool now because this is my active quest um, and for example here's one that's not my active quest I could hit activate and it would update my mini map and direction stuff but because this is my active quest you'll see my down the bottom right there my objective is to go to Metropolis to continue my mission so basically that's saying hey the objective for your mission is outside it's not in here so uh, let's do that um, some, seeing some really cool creative uses of the character creator as well very nice so once we get out here it the objective will update and it will say hey you have to go and do XYZ and not only but that but if, if we have a look at the map you'll see that there's a, a little quest there a quest icon um, and up in the mini map radar it actually has a bright yellow arrow pointing uh, in the direction that I need to go but here we are now this is um, Metropolis you've seen uh, Gotham City but this is what Metropolis looks like it's a, it's a lot brighter and happier again for my super duper flight powers we can just um, go straight up basically and have a look around the cities are, and I'm sure I've mentioned this countless times they're absolutely huge. They're huge, mungus, and they're totally seamless. You really, you really f feel like you're flying around in a huge city. And I mean, look way out in the distance there. 
those buildings have scaled down to low detail but as you approach they they pop in with the high detail models but it is effectively an open world you can fly anywhere there's no loading screens the only loading screens you come up against are when you enter an instance um, whether that be for a quest arc or a dungeon finder type type of deal and you know what getting around and exploring the city is half of the fun in this game um, as you know um, I'm a massive fan of collecting and achievements I've spent hours searching in nooks and crannies all around this place to find things and you know it's great for example once I stumbled across a, an abandoned parking lot like a car park parking garage type thing and you know you wander through all the levels and tucked away in the corner will be a item for you to for, for you to collect it's just lots of fun there the attention to detail is amazing oh while we're here um, you'll notice that 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 green uh, blob there that actually shoots a green light into the sky so you can always tell where your poli local police station is which is like a, a, a safe house but remember there's no falling damage so if I turn off flight mode now yay no damage just an epic <laughs> epic drop in my high heels alright <coughs> excuse me so we've got about five minutes left <clears throat> Oh, that's the blazing speed um, power, by the way. That's a really impressive looking thing. This is a um, one of the um, races, if you like, that I told you about. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm dying here. Now, normally these are purple. If they're purple, it means you haven't done it. If it's white, it means you've already done it. And I um, know I have because it's white. I've done this and I've got a platinum medal in it because it's just a very, very basic introduction one. But let's just do it again so it can give you an idea. You can see here you get different medals based on your time and you also get the rewards which I got mailed to me as you saw earlier by Captain Marvel. But let's do it anyway <clears throat> just so you can get an idea of what these are like. And again, remember this is just a very, very simple basic uh, introduction to them. They pop up all over the place. Again, there's an element of collectability to all this you want to try and complete them all not only that but I'm uh, currently you know suffering movement speed I don't have uh, my super duper uh, fast travel power yet so obviously once I get that I'll be able to do these even faster not that I need to on this one um, and you know what later on you'll need it because they get really really tough really challenging um, and there we go and I beat my old time that's pretty cool but again I've already it's only a basic one I got a platinum I don't need to do that again so I can do a couple of things here um, and, and there's the police station you can see in the distance let's have a look at my quest I'm gonna just because we're running out of time we'll do the exploration one I have to go and use the theater kiosk at the Chinese theater um, now I already went and discovered the uh, whereabouts the Chinese theater was um, so now I have to use its kiosk as part of these um, Buster Gold exploration quests. So I'm just following um, the yellow arrow on the corner of my mini map there. And again, apologies for the slow flight speed. You actually can speed up if you dive down. Gravity takes takes hold. All the time I want to be looking for. Oh, there we go. A collectible. I want to be looking for these. So let's see what this one gives us. All right, this one has uh, given us something called Clinton Street. Let's have a look in our inventory. And it is a co actual collectible, yes, and I can use it. Metropolis Street Signs. So let's use that and add it to my collection. And there we go. You've added Clinton Street to the collection. And if I hop in here, have a look at my collections, um, and we'll see Metropolis Street Signs is a reward at the end of it. I've got one of six, so obviously I'm going to have to find the other ones for that collection. And let's find the kiosk, which I happen to... This is the, um, the Chinese theatre that I was looking for. But let's hoon over the other side. Um, and I know that the kiosk is over here. There it is, and let's use that and have a listen to Buster. Oh, actually, that gave me a, there was a collection hidden behind it. How's that? That's really funny. <laughs> That's never happened to me before. That's great. Let's try the kiosk again. A representation of the diversity in Metropolis, Mannheim's Chinese Theater is a beloved part of the city and home to rich cultural offerings. From gallery exhibitions of cultural beauty to dramatic performances of modern theatrical masterpieces, the theater itself is a dark cavern. 
cavernous room with large plush seats and the faint scent of magical mayhem. Um, now, as I've said in my other videos, definitely having some weird sound issues. Um, sometimes the sounds are really loud, sometimes they're really quiet. Um, my apologies if that was quiet or too loud. We'll get there in the end and sort it out. Anyway, you'll see now I've got a new objective. Visit Shenley Po Gardens. So if I have a look at that, that's obviously the next stop on my um, get used to, uh, get acquainted Whoops, get acquainted with um, Metropolis Tour. And if we look on the map, it should show us where that is. Right, it's down the bottom there. Um, and you'll notice we quickly, we're running out of time, but um, here's a collection that this is white. This is one that I've already got, so you can tell which ones you've collected already. But notice that that guy there with the quest symbol above his head, if I just pop it back over here, you'll see anything you come across. Oh, I'm grounded. Oops, I've been attacked. Let's get this guy, and I'm being stunned, do that, and watch my big fire blast, oh, round it again, oh yeah, love that ability, love that ability, fantastic, in fact I should show you those, um, this guy, this character has my hand blaster stuff, I've got my um, weapon charge up, I can set myself on fire, and I've got this huge wham, huge pyro blast thing, I love it. Anyway, what I was saying was, see there's a purple um, pillar above that person, that means in the distance you can tell if there's a quest, also appears on the mini-map, and as you get closer an actual um, quest appears there. So um, next time I log in we'll accept this quest and see where it takes us. Running out of time, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time, bye bye.